Hi, this is Michael Pariente of the Pariente Law Firm PC here at the Howard Hughes Center. I'm a criminal defense lawyer here in Las Vegas and I've been practicing for 17 years. I want to talk to you today about the crime of structuring. You may have heard this term used in conjunction with media reports about United States Speaker of the House Dennis Hastert who was recently indicted for structuring along with a slew of other federal crimes. Here's how structuring works. First of all, the section that applies, it's 31 U.S.C. Section 5324. And the way it works is this. I'm going to give you a hypothetical. Let's say that you just sold your car for $10,000. You go to the bank to deposit $10,000 into your checking account. Your bank will automatically notify the federal government that you just deposited $10,000 or more into your bank account through what's called a Currency Transaction Report, or CTR. It also works this way. You go to your bank and you take out $10,000 or more in cash. Your bank will, again, notify the federal government through the CTR that you withdrew this money. Now, that may seem unfair and perhaps offensive that the government wants to know about any time you make a lawful deposit or withdrawal of $10,000 in cash or more. Now, if you try to get creative about it and you don't want them to know about this, and let's say you deposit $8,000 in the morning, you come back later in the day and you deposit the $2,000 or let's say you withdraw $5,000 in the morning and $5,000 later in the day and you think you're getting around the, this requirement, you're getting yourself in a lot of trouble. If you've done that, you could be looking at $250,000 in a fine and or up to five years in federal prison on a felony conviction. If you're in a situation where you've done this and you have the federal government calling you and wanting to talk to you about your banking activities, give me a call. It's urgent. Come sit down with me in my office or if you're calling from out of state, just give me a call and we'll figure out what I can do to help you.